Hello everyone. Hi everybody. I'm Steve. And I'm Mark. And this is Smokey Steve and Mark. Oh yes it is. Welcome or welcome to Hello. Happy Friday. Yes, in D T G I F. This was felt like two weeks. More than more than one week. This was like Monday to Friday and then we started with Monday again. Yeah, this um It was long. It was for me too. It was definitely look, I got the serious face on. Yeah. yeah, it was it was a it was a trying week this week. Challenging, very challenging. Challenging, yes. Challenging patience wise, yes, yes. especially with work. Yeah, with work too on my part. Yeah. yeah. It was um we opened, you know, and mm -hmm. we were seeing patients. Um but, you know, we still had to do most of them by phone. So it was you know, we had to do but at the same time. So there were people coming in at the same time as trying to call all the people. So it was a little different, you know. Yeah. But, um, you know, and longer days now that we're open because I was able to shave off an hour or two during the week because... Yeah, last night you didn't get home till Last night. It, it was, was late. late. It was late last night. But, you know, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. And this is the way it was before the quarantine. Yeah. You know, so it's just, I guess, a period of adjustment. But as I shared on Monday, I was, I was, I had... I was struggling physically this week, so that kind of added to it. And mm -hmm. I'll tell you, the um, the fatigue part of it was is just maddening. It, 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 you know, I they need to come up with a pill or something for that. Let me tell you. You try meth. I, I could. Know, something. There's a lot of um, off label. <laughs> yeah, there are. Yeah, it, that circulate in the informal economy. Yeah. That maybe, uh, yeah. No, they do make things for fatigue, but I, you know, it's getting close. There's other stuff going on, kind of. You know, asking. Well, I, you know, as I shared on Monday, I did take some action this week. I actually contacted the doctors. They got back to me. They changed my medic, one of my medications. Um, they want to see me in person, so that's good. Mm -hmm. I can get to see my doctor. Um, I did get a, a nifty difty. Knee brace. Knee brace here. Just like all the cool kids. As you can see, because I've been having swelling on my knee. Isn't that sexy? Mm -hmm. Um and it it's not going away. It sucks. Yeah. It just won't go away. What the hell? I don't know. I mean I've had swelling before, but not not for like multiple days in a row, you know. So anyway, I did get this. Mm -hmm. I, I'm hoping that this will help. It's the first day I got it, so we'll see what happens there. But other than that, um, um, the fatigue run down, like, you know, just have to, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, Ready to do. what am I trying to say? I don't know. Get it together. Get it together. Get your shit together, Get my man. shit together. I gotta rest. I just have to make sure. Well, I gotta, it's the weekend, which is the time to rest. It just, it sucks. And it, you know what, too? It's the change of seasons. You know, we went right to summer. You know, the weather, it's, I, so I, you know, there is adjustment there, you know. Yeah. And like I said before, too, I don't know. Some, every time something happens, I try to figure out what caused it to happen. Mm -hmm. That's just as maddening. Yeah. Because there may not be a reason. Like, I, it's, Knowing it could be the nature of the disease. I don't know. Report your <sighs> symptoms to the doctor and I let did. him figure out why yes. it's happening. I, I mean, we are the experts on ourselves, generally, I think, when it comes to physical or mental health. Because we've known ourselves a while. The longest. You know, and if you're a parent, you may have known your kid the longest, so you advocate for them. Yeah. However, I'm not for leaving things out when you talk to the doctor right, because yeah. you think you know what's causing your symptom. Yeah, right, right. You know what I mean? Yeah. My, mm -hmm, I have family members that do this thing, too. <laughs> oh, I didn't bring this up to the doctor because I know what's causing it. Yeah. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, do you? Right. That's no, you, very true. No, you don't. You And you do it, too. I don't do that. Well, no, I go to your appointments with you a lot of the time. Mm. And I sit there, and I'm like, did you tell them about this? No, I think that's reversed. I'm the one that goes with you to your appointments. I have a long list. I saw the psychiatrist. Well, I talked to my psychiatrist today, so I had an appointment. There was nothing much to talk about. No. Except that I need drastically less anxiety medication since I haven't been going to work. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I've needed quite Which a bit is true, less. you know, it's true. And yet I've the same it. amount of work, if not a little more, is getting, getting done, done yeah. by me because I'm in an environment that's much more comfortable. Yeah. I think they're going to find that a lot, actually, I think. Uh, people are there. I think I saw something on the news that said, overall, that people have been more productive working from home than if they were mm -hmm. in the office. I thought that was interesting, you know? Well, I got a reopening plan at work today, and it says they still, in like, 
we're still able and expected to work at home. But if I want to go into the office, there's only two days a week designated. They split our department up into two teams. There's a Monday, Tuesday, or a, what was it? Monday, Tuesday, and then a Thursday, Friday team. Mm -hmm. So you can only be in the office on those specific days, depending on your team. Oh, they don't want different groups of people interacting more than they have to. Yeah. And I have to go in, take my temperature, gloves, mask, except yeah. in your office. Um, don't crowd the hallways. Stuff like that. I've mm -hmm. only had to go into the office a couple times just to pick stuff up. But now there's it's more regulated. Yeah. But there's yeah. things I'd like to do in the office that I wouldn't do at home. Mm -hmm. So, I mean... Yeah, so that's good. No, like, that's if I need good. to make copies, I'm not using our printer. Right. No, you know, not for work. for work. Why would you? Yeah. No, not for work. Yeah. So, there's there's that. So it's starting to, you know, tiptoe towards normal. Mm -hmm. Sort of. Around here. Yeah. A little. Well, how was your week? I hope you had a good week. I really do. I wonder if everyone's had, like, kind of a week. <laughs> I don't know. I don't it know. Tends to, was there a full moon? There was. Okay, there's that. See, I'm a cancer. So, the moon is my thing, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, for everybody, really, but, yeah. But particularly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, I'm moody. <laughs> I'm diagnostically moody, but I'm, you know, it's it's my thing. It's my whatever. Yeah. I had a therapist who was a astrologer, and actually for one session, she did my chart. And I was like, you know, I was in therapy because everything freaking bothered me. Everything yeah. bothered me. Everything scared me. I didn't want to deal with anything. And she's like, "You're it's just you're so wonderfully sensitive." <laughs> I'm like, "No, I want to be stoic and numb. <laughs> I don't, don't want to be bothered. <laughs> I don't, I want everything to go like this. I don't want to take anything personally. Yeah. Nothing." And she said, "You're just not wired for it. Astrologically, you're not wired for it." Mm -hmm. I'm like, Shit. Mm -hmm. "Well, you know, you can't fight stars." Yeah. Born this way, whatever it is, I don't know. But I got a lot of, uh, I got some comments, mm -hmm. I got some messages, mm -hmm. uh, pointing out that I forgot to update mm -hmm. everybody on the garden. I, I was once a week giving a quick tour of the garden and how it was growing. Yeah. And I didn't do that on last Monday's with Mark. And oh, you let me know. Mm -hmm. you let they let me have it. People that like gardening really like yeah, gardening. Yeah, they let me. Have it. <laughs> I want to see it. <laughs> yeah. So I I I apologize. Like, you know, rightfully so. Not I'm not like saying, oh, I'm sorry. You know, mm -hmm. I'm apologizing for not including it on Monday. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna include it now. Yeah. So I took Steve outside and we did a quick update on how the garden's growing. And we'll put that here. Yeah. Okay, hi everybody. I realize that it has been almost two weeks since I gave you an update of the garden. And all, and all, you all reminded me. You reminded me. My apologies. So here we are. Just a quick update of how the garden's growing. Okay. So our cut flower garden is doing very well. These are uh, straw flowers here. I think I love them. They'll get probably about that tall. And then all the little seedlings popped up here. And everything's the same here. Um, and, uh, okay, pumpkins, I'm very surprised about. Like, they all took, all of them took. I was thinking we might lose a few, but they all took. All one, two, three, four, five, six of them. So I don't think our little support's going to hold all of that. So we may no. have to rethink it. I'm not sure. We have a vicious animal that has infiltrated our garden. There he is. There he is. Oh. Say hello. Okay, so, okay, the rock garden. Okay, so these came, if you remember, we planted these in a video by seed. These are our money plants or the silver dollar plants. Um, the ferns, the hostas, they're doing well. The flowers are doing good. I managed to save the yucca. As you can see, all the new growth. Very excited about that. This is Oscar's garden right here. That's all kitty nip. Okay, so the water feature. Oh my gosh. So, I was at work and I raided the lot behind where I work and I got all kinds of new rocks. Yes, for the rock garden. So anyway, I, I redid the water feature so it's still not done. Um, but I think it's going to look real nice with these big rocks there. So um, that's my goal to finish um, probably this evening. And so by next week, I'll be able to show you the finished water feature. Uh, okay. Gladiola's doing well. Um, Allium's doing well. I don't know what else to show you. 
on and down here. I got up to about here and have a few more things to put in there. Echinacea I'm putting in there. Um, what else can I show you? Oh, our baby carrots in the container. They're just about ready to pull. If you can see, just about ready to go and we'll have some baby carrots. Oh, look at look look at the spiral plant. Not only did he survive the winter, but he's blooming. I never even knew they bloomed. Such a cool plant. Oh, I think that's so cool. Uh, the sorrel, the four leaf clovers are doing well. Um, St. John's wart right there. He's doing good. Rosemary and our morning glories are starting to climb. Okay, vegetables. Cucumbers, doing well. Tomatoes, cabbages. You like the cabbages, huh? Uh, I do, and they're very scenic. They are They're scenic. very nice. And uh, peppers in the middle. And Stevens ampersands. What ampersands? <laughs> Snapdragons. Yes. Um, okay, and this one, like, poofed up over last week. Radishes, broccoli, spinach, <laughs> Cauliflower in the middle we have uh, beans that will grow up there. I got the tricolor beans this year. And the new thing I'm trying this year, corn. So I have some corn growing up along the back there. Again, more cucumbers. And I was able to get a little more done on the walkway. It's starting to come together. I'm happy with it, it's looking good. The carnations are doing wonderful. So that's really good. They should get about this tall. That's the variety I got. So that was the other new thing. I, I never grew carnations before. So, okay. And our time. It all came up. And if you remember from last time, I wanted, uh, my goal was to have the whole walkway with English time. Mm -hmm. It looks real nice. It's slow to the ground. You step on it. It smells good. And they all bloom too. They'll all get to be like this. This is from last year. This is time from last year. So, anyway, that's that. So, that's an update of our garden. Thank you for watching, and I will make sure I will update you again next week. <laughs> and not forget. Okay, bye. It's looking nice, isn't it? It is. Yeah, I love my nice. cabbage. Yeah, you do. They're so, scenic isn't the word. That's the word I have used. They're so, I don't know. Majestically beautiful. Yeah, they're just very, um... Eh, it takes your breath away a little yeah, bit. It's a they just a cabbage. I think of like cabbage patch, cabbage patch kids. You yeah, know, they're just, yeah. I they're like really them. cool. And I, I like to cool. eat cabbage, so I mean, mm -hmm. I like out. cabbage too. Yeah, but I was like, uh, I was like, gosh, nothing's gro like what's happening. Like, I, and we haven't had a lot of rain, but then we had rain kind of back to back, like within a few days of our and and it just like you know everything came all like okay good you mm -hmm. know so plus i do have to fertilize some of those flowers so i'll do that this weekend and then nah, i'm happy i think it's coming along pretty well mm -hmm. i'm excited about the water feature yeah because uh, i've never done that before and i started small i kind of wish i would have made it bigger this year but <laughs> i'll do that next year but it, i think it'll turn out nice well, you believe all the rocks i got year. from work yeah the girls actually helped me with Getting them. Oh, that's nice. I uh, know. She's don't you pick that up. You're going to hurt yourself. I would never forgive myself if you couldn't come to work tomorrow because you lifted that. It was cute. <laughs> it was so nice. But yeah, I loaded the car with those rocks. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Because I, we didn't, I, we, I needed larger rocks. How many know? more do you need? No, that's enough. Oh, I was going to say. No, no, like, that's, that's enough. Do we need to like put the back seat down? No, <laughs> like, or no. Okay. no. That big one out by the car is that big long one. Oh, and I'd love to have that in there for, like, a bench, but that would be impossible to lift. Yeah. I would have to cut the fence and try to roll it or something. I don't know. But, but I mean, it is a rock garden, so there should be rocks in it. Well, that makes you sense. You know, I yeah. like big rocks, mm -hmm. not just all the... But, any, but anyway, so thank you for watching that. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I always think, like, when am I going to do the, like, it's finished video, you know, with the mm -hmm. garden? And I think I've learned over the years that, it's never finished. No. Ever. Like, never. It's I'm always ongoing. tweaking it. I'm always doing something different. But that's good because, you know, it's like I said, it's like therapy. Mm -hmm. I do. I really do enjoy being out there, especially with Oscar and everything. It's nice. It's it's nice all around, you know. And something to look forward to next year, too. Yeah. When you close up the garden and have yeah. things planted that you're going to see in the spring, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. And I like to see the difference. Like, when you go out there to, like, decorate for Christmas and you look at it. 
and then you're like standing out there in the middle of June and looking at it. It's mm-hmm. just so amazing to me. Yeah. The difference. I don't know. But a funny story. I had to share this funny story about Oscar with you. I get up this morning. I didn't even tell you this mm. yet. I was going to, but uh-huh. I just didn't have a chance. Uh-huh. So listen. I just got home. Anyway. What was I saying? I don't know. You didn't tell me yet. Oh. What? what now? Just... Oscar story? Yes. Something. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, yes. Oscar. Oh, this morning. Oscar. Okay. So, I get up this morning. I put the coffee on. It's real early. And Oscar never gets... Like, when I leave for work at, like, 8.30, he is tucked away in his little cubby sleeping. Like, mm-hmm. almost every morning. Like, I, he's never been up early. So, at 7 o'clock in the morning, I put the coffee on, and I hear squawking outside from the kitchen window. He's yelling. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, what the heck? And I look out, and he's sitting on the banister, looking up at the kitchen window, yelling. I'm like, what is wrong? And he keeps looking to the porch. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, maybe he's hungry. I don't know. So, I'm like, oh, God. All right. So, I go out, and I open the door, and two squirrels are in my planters, digging the, digging it. And, of course, because I came out, freaked out and ran away. Hmm. Right where Oscar's house and everything is. Uh, he... You, he alerted you. He alerted me, yes, but... Cats usually chase squirrels away. <laughs> well, the, the Oscar has a very different temperament than other cats. He's... Uh, he's chicken shit. I mean, he's... He is. God bless him. God but, bless him. But he let know. me know. Yeah. Like, he kept looking... Back mm-hmm. to the porch and meowing. I was like, he's more like Lassie than Cujo. You know, he'll <laughs> yeah, let, he'll let you know something's <laughs> going on, but he's not getting in the mix. You know, yeah, like that's true, he's not going to dive in. Yes. Yeah. So after I dug out the peanuts that were in the planters, mm-hmm. where they're getting peanuts at, I have no idea. I just don't know. Mm. Well, so that was my story. That was your story. It was cute though to wake up to that. Yeah, Oscar is my new. I. When I feel like petting a cat, I go out on the porch and I pet Oscar. Because <laughs> Bandit, I only enjoy about three weeks every year where Bandit <laughs> is affectionate with me. And I love it when he is, and I miss it when he's not. But, I, you know, it's nice to have the comfort of an animal. And when I go out on the porch, and Oscar will jump up and let me rub his head, and he likes it. Yeah. And I'm not afraid he's going to hiss at me, and he's not going to mm-hmm. freak out. No, they're very different temperaments, them two. Too. I've never tried to pick Oscar up, though. No, I picked him up a couple of times. He's getting used to it. Yeah, I haven't tried to do that. Um... But oh, my shrink appointment today. It was so nice. It's so convenient not have to drive to the office. Mm-hmm, yeah. Or deal with any of that crap. It was like five, ten minutes. No big deal. No big rush. And I only had a couple things to run past them. One, can I take this med at X, Y, and Z time? Um, there was another question about running out of something. And the last one was, do you think anything's wrong with the fact that I bleached my hair three times in the last month, dyed it red, put my nose ring back in, and put earrings in? Um, and she said no. She said she thinks that's fine. Because you start to wonder, changes in appearance, behavior, can sometimes cluster with with mental health concerns. Yeah. Just every so often. Um, There's a a thing that's pointed to with women, and it's kind of a stereotype, kind of not, that when there's like a drastic change in hair, Uh that something internally may be going on. Men do it with facial hair, periodically. Those giant beards, he's going through something. (laughs) (laughs) And he's been going through it as long as that beard is. Yeah. So... Um, it was nice to get refreshing feedback. As such, I'm bleaching my hair again tonight, because I'm over the red. It's been a week. It's been a week! It's... Yeah, I guess it's in about, yeah. You know, I'm just, I'm kind of, eh. I'm well, were you afraid it really literally was a midlife crisis? No, because I'm, I, 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 I'd like to think I'm a midlife. What would I turn out to be then? 76? 70? 70, 80? 80, something like something that. Something like that? You're not 40. No, I'll be 38 in, what's today's date? The 9th, 12th, 10th, 12th, 10th, about three weeks, four weeks, what I'll month be is 38. It? It's June. The 1999. Is it 2000 yet? I don't know. I don't know. I still think 1990 was like 10 years ago. I've like, I've lost my... all of the 2000s. <laughs> I've left all my brain cells in the 80s. I know. Well. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know. Probably well, that's bleach. good, then. Did I give you some kind of solace? Yeah, let okay, me know good. that, like, I'm just well, kind good. of coping. And she just had a baby, so she's totally out of the loop. And we were talking, and she was like, I don't know what the hell Zoom is. I didn't. <laughs> she's been home for three months on maternity leave, 
So she didn't have to engage in any kind of work or do right. anything. Yeah. So she's like, I don't know what Zoom is. That's why we're on the phone. Uh. <laughs> My last VA that I talked to, in her absence, we Zoomed. You know, we chatted. So. Yeah. It's yeah. good, though. I'm liking telemedicine. I'm yeah, I'm kind of digging it, too. Now, my doctor wants to see me in person, which I'm glad about. I'm glad he, about, too. Yeah, because... yeah, I'm glad about it. These are new symptoms for me, so I'm glad yeah. that he's, um, will be able to see, like, see it, and I can see him face to face and talk to him and see what the heck he wants me to do. Mm -hmm. Well, what do you guys have planned for the weekend? Yeah, I hope something fun, because summer is just about here. I am going to, maybe, it might be cheat night tonight, it might not. It may or may not. We, I don't know yet. We don't know yet. Um, tomorrow I spend my afternoons with Booty Beauty. Oh, yes. Who's been very prolific this week. Yeah. <laughs> so it'll be a long afternoon. Um, and then Sunday is usually just not very much. Just, just us? Just us. Just yeah. hanging out. You know, sometimes my parents pop down on the weekends. It depends. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, it's usually very quiet. Now, I know for Sunday we get to reveal the poll results. Uh, I know. That's exciting. So... But the way the wind's blowing with the pole. It's looking like Sunday. It's looking like Sunday. It's yeah. going to be it. The, because there's about 104. Last time I checked, 140. It's more than Oh, yeah. If you now. haven't voted on the poll, go over to the community board and vote on our poll. We need we need your help. Uh, we're going to be doing lives once a week. That's the, the intention. And we put up three days that you can choose from. Yeah. Tuesday, Friday, or Sunday. Sunday's in the lead at the moment, followed by Friday. And no one wants to hang out with us on Tuesdays. <laughs> so... That's fine. Yeah. It's, if it's not convenient, it's not convenient. No, it's not. It's not. Frankly, a Tuesday isn't very convenient for me either. Yeah, right? So, yeah. <laughs> I, I know, right? Honestly, yeah. honestly, lives are so much for me. Not for you, because I know it's like, you got to get in the headspace to yeah, do it. Yeah, I do. I'll have to get used to it, because I, yeah. Well, you pour so much into it. Like, I try to respect every comment that comes through, yeah. but the speed at which they come through, sometimes you miss everything fourth comment yeah. and if there if there's no pause it's hard to go back and see everything yeah. you're giving everyone your undivided attention which is ideally the way it goes but keeping up with a hundred people it's hard to do oh yeah so no, you're it's hard so you, i get all I get and you have to read it anxiety. you can't read it up here and you have to read it down yeah, here uh, i on the yeah. other hand can can do it and then afterwards there's almost no editing it uploads itself <laughs> yeah i say catch the replay that's not much of a description you're right right and then whatever thumbnail it captures we use yeah so the the after the live's over it's pretty easy yeah for me anyway that's true so so tonight's cheat night i don't know is it we used to I, do well, when said it i didn't i knew nothing about this well when is it gonna be i don't know when was the last one I don't know. It was Friday. We moved it Wednesday to Friday because you wanted to have Because we like it, it on the weekends. I thought it was Saturdays. I, I, don't, I don't know. Well, fine. I'll eat crap food tonight and you can eat whatever you want. All right. That works for me. And then when you eat crap food tomorrow, I'll... We don't have anything for dessert. I'll have to go... We have to figure something out for dessert. So we can bake something. I don't feel like it. But I don't feel like going to the store either. Well, there's very few oh. options oh. when you eliminate both of those. <laughs> of course, there's... Don't you guys worry. We will figure it out. I could bake something. You could. You don't like my food? Uh, no, anybody that puts cinnamon in blueberry pie, just... It's not a lot. It's just... Just enough to give it a little warm something in the background. You don't taste we know. the cinnamon. We it's know. like when you add coffee to chocolate. You don't taste the coffee... It just makes it rise up on your palate a little bit. Right. Black pepper right. does that, too. Right, right, right. You don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I do, and I think it's adorable. Adorable is what you tell a kid when they screw up their birthday cake and put their fist in it. Anyway, so those are the weekend plans that we have. And, um, you know, I guess we'll see. We'll see, where we'll we see go what from. pans out. Thank you to everyone who tuned in yesterday. A uh, lot of feedback. It was kind of yeah. a controversial sort of topic, some touchy things, and I saw pretty much nothing but respect in the comment yeah. section, yeah, which was... I appreciate. Mm -hmm. um, I like that you guys appreciate each other with different points of view. I think it's great. It's it was, I was very happy with how we all did. Yeah, <laughs> with, I was too with how we all something. did with mm -hmm. that. Um, and then tomorrow we'll see if it's a different story. Somebody, <laughs> somebody's been eating a little more fast food than usual, mm. so. We'll see what the motives are, and we'll see how it goes down. I suspect there was a change of heart a few times about diets to do. And can I live? And can I be a fat person on YouTube? And why can't I do this? Why can't I do that? Blah, 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 blah. 
we'll see. So, shall we end it there? Okay, okay. I have to make dessert for myself, don't I? Well, we'll gonna... see. I because I want dessert too. Okay. Well, thank you all for watching. <laughs> Please do subscribe, hit the like button and the bell on your way out so you get the alerts. You can follow Mark and I on Facebook at Smokey Steve Space and Mark or on Instagram at Smokey Steve and Mark. Our email address and contact info is all listed down below. Thank you again and I will catch up with you tomorrow, probably late afternoon, early evening for some coffee talk. Oh, yes you will. Mm -hmm. Yes. I may pop in. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah? We'll see. Yeah. I like to be behind the scenes when those are going on. Yeah. You know. But I still hear it. <laughs> You're behind the veil. I'm behind <laughs> the veil. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, it was nice spending time with you. I hope you had a great week, and I hope you have an even better weekend. Remember, everybody, stay safe, stay well, but above all else, stay positive. Yes. Ciao, everybody.